Hi, this is Dr. Wong from the Clinical Pattern Recognition Team. We're going to talk about if it's stiff, you've got to move it, move it. You know your patient, 53 years old, coming in with insidious onset worsening hip pain. This pain tends to affect the patient, particularly during gait. You know that during gait, the patient complains of pain in the lateral hip or groin region. There's an associated limp, which is highly indicative of hip pathology. Again, you also notice that the patient's hip range of motion seems limited during their functional movement. Notice here the limited range of motion during this functional movement. During your assessment, you note significant hip flexion mobility deficit, particularly less than 115 degrees, limited hip internal rotation mobility or mobility deficits, less than 15 degrees, and during accessory motion testing, significant loss of inferior, posterior, and anterior glides. So, with these mobility deficits, and a clear connection to the patient's functional limitations, it's time to move it, move it. You gotta get this joint moving. Any of these mobilizations have been shown to be beneficial to this patient population with hip osteoarthritis. Here's hip AP mobilizations, anterior posterior, stretching out the posterior capsule, longitudinal distractions of the hip joint, then follow your mobilizations with exercises that help restore hip mobility, including strengthening exercises and this quadruped rock back for hip flexion. Note the patient's moving slowly and gently into her stiffness. There's only partial weight bearing into the hip joint, and the joint is stabilized nicely into the socket by the patient's body weight. Multiple repetitions should be done to improve joint mobility. This relates to the International Classification of Functioning and Health Mobility Deficits Classification, of which the key findings include physiologic range of motion deficits, accessory mobility deficits. The interventions for this category include mobilizations and therapeutic exercises to improve mobility. This is the clinical guidelines from the orthopedic section of the American Physical Therapy Association on hip pain and mobility deficits. These general concepts of if it's stiff you need to move it apply to other common mobility deficits like adhesive capsulitis, particularly in the frozen and thawing phases, in spinal arthritis, or osteoarthritis of numerous other peripheral joints. We're keeping it simple with clinical pattern recognition. Thank you.